Hi, everyone. This meeting is being recorded. It will be uploaded in a few days to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. And at this time, I would like to turn things over to Margaret Minor Wood. Hi, um, I am the owner's project manager for the Fort River Elementary School project. And I'm going to give a little bit of an update on the project, explain what's happening on Monday next week. And then I'm gonna, um, hopefully that will be brief, no more than 10 minutes. And then we're gonna open the meeting up to questions. And if folks come in late, I can recap some of this. Um, so thank you for joining today. So um, the first thing I'm gonna say is, um, if you are a parent, um, or a staff member of the school, hopefully you are aware that Amherst is getting ready to build a new elementary school on the Fort River site. And it's going to be on the south, south end of the site of the existing school. So I'm just gonna share a site plan quickly from Google Maps and kind of indicate to you where the building is gonna be. So if you can see this, um, the um this is the existing school this is southeast main street rolling by currently um traffic comes in to this entrance the school and moves through and goes out um, the new school is going to be built approximately where my cursor is and um in order to do that where the contractor is actually going to be taking the southern half of the site in order to make a safe construction area. And that's going to bring some really big changes to the operation of the cars and buses coming in and out of Fort River. So um, before I go there, I just wanna um, go into more detail. I wanna just point to um, the project website. So this project has uh, it's its very own website. It's you can find it by googling Amherst-School-Project.com, and at the top of the screen you can see there is a weekly construction update, and that is updated every week. Um, the contractor came on site a week or two ago to get started doing some enabling activities, but this text each week will give you a very brief update. And it's also going to link you to a page with more details. But I also just wanted to let you know, if you haven't looked at the website before, it has information about what the new building will look like. It has a timeline for construction. For the purposes of this meeting here, I think the important thing to know is that we're going to make this change now, but we will be in construction with the southern part of the site out of commission um, until uh, the winter of 2026. We expect the school to be open in the fall of 2026, but that's gonna be followed uh, very quickly by the demolition of the existing building and cleaning up what will now be the open Northern end of the site. So this change that we're here to talk about tonight is, go is going to be in place for a little while. Um, so please, you know, take a look at the other pages. There's lots of other information about the projects, but I want to just point you to, um, oops, wrong page. The last page, what's called the FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions page, is right now has an update, which I'm going to sort of be leaning into for this discussion today, which explains, and let me just switch screens here. Actually, we can use this one. What explains is that with the closing of the southern entrance to the site, um, the, all of the traffic will now go in and out of the northern entrance to the site. And what that means is there's going to be, um, starting next week on Monday, we're going to have uh, police out front to direct traffic, and everybody will turn in, no matter whether they're coming from north or south, they will turn in here. And they will circulate around. If you are a car, you will circulate around the parking lot in this direction. We're actually restriping the parking um, spaces over this weekend, assuming that the weather clears up, um, in order to make the make this work. Um, and the cars will, for people who are dropping off or picking up, 
will sort of line up here um, and then come around this way as you would today uh, to pick up students. And the loading area for students is here. Students will be waiting who are being picked up will be weighed inside in the lobby and then um, they'll be called based on uh, the order that the parents are showing up. Students who are going on the buses will have a different experience. The buses are gonna come in where the cars are coming in. And then the buses are actually gonna circulate around the back of the building in order to get them oriented in the correct direction for picking up students. So, um, you know, as I think most people know, buses can only load on one side, the right side. So students who are getting on buses will come out of the school um, at the north end of the school, load up on buses. The buses will then tootle around and exit with the other cars going out onto Southeast Street. So that's the overview of how this is going to work. Um, I think that um, the from what we've seen, the um, school staff is kind of expert at directing traffic and this um, pattern of uh, sort of drop off and pick up was developed um, with the school staff. And I see we have principals Tim Sullivan Daly is here um, in case anyone has any questions for her. But this will, um, this is developed in, hand in hand with the superintendent and the principal. And um, it will keep everybody safe and allow the contractor to operate um, without interfering with school activities on the south side of the site. So I think that was the major information that I wanted to share. Um, mostly I want to turn this over to any folks we have who may have questions. Angela, is it, do we have anyone in the audience? Yes, we have three people who are attendees. We have three. Okay. So um, maybe we, does anybody have a question that they want to ask? It doesn't have to be about this particular issue, but um, if you could raise your hand and let us know if you have a question. And if you came in a little late and you need me to go back to the beginning, I'm happy to do that too. So no raised hands as of yet in the attendee room. No raised hands. Okay. Well, um, the I guess the other thing we should mention, I think, I assume I'm pretty sure the school committee probably knows about this, but um, we picked a very special day in the celestial year <laughs> to do this <laughs> because Monday, in addition to being the day that the traffic changed is on the Four River elementary school site is also um, in the afternoon, the eclipse coming through New England. Um, so it's my understanding that um, it's gonna be a half day of school on Monday. And so um, the good news is we will not be dismissing students at the time that the daylight, quality of the daylight will be affected. Um, but it does mean that it will be a good practice run um, or day two, which will be a sort of more normal day. Um, I think that um, I want to, actually what I should do is point everybody, um, if you sort of want to recap this, I'm gonna just point back, which screen am I sharing? Here we go. Point back to this page of the website. Everybody, yes. That looks like the right thing. So on this page, in addition to the diagram that I walked through of how the traffic is moving through the site, there are also links. I'm not going to click on them here, but there's a link both in English and in Spanish to a video that kind of walks through the traffic circulation. So um, please, if you are a member of the school community and you have friends or colleagues who are not aware of this, of this big change coming on Monday, uh, please let them know. And also um, the same page at the bottom, there's a, there's a very detailed set of frequently asked questions about the project.
but there is also on this pay, this tab, the Get Involved tab, there's an opportunity to submit uh, questions. So if you have questions as a follow-up to this presentation, you can go there and send a question. It comes directly to me and my staff, um, and we can either respond to you directly or get information out to school community. If you think there are issues that you see that should be addressed, we would really appreciate hearing about it. So I'm just gonna stop again and see if anybody wants to raise their hand or ask a question. So we have two attendees now and we don't see any raised hands. No hands, okay. No. So Principal Sullivan Daly, do you want to say say hello and goodbye to your audience? Because I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm sorry that more people haven't shown up, but that's OK. I'm going to send out uh, my newsletter tomorrow and I'll make sure to include the link. Um, but we also plan on handing out uh, just a paper version of the map. So all families that tend to drop off and pick up their their students will have that as well. So I think that the town's done a really amazing job of putting out those uh, signs to make sure that anybody that's that's right there on Southeast Street knows that construction is happening. Um, mm -hmm. I've made sure to put every put lots of information in my weekly newsletter. And I know that Doug has also done that um, too. So that's hopefully great. we're reaching everybody. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sure there will be some surprises, but um, yeah. hopefully what I like about this plan is that I think it it builds on the part of what, how you operate now and sort of just mm -hmm. sort of uh, rejiggers it to fit this. And I will also just say in conclusion that when the when the new building is complete, the traffic pattern for cars will be similar. So mm -hmm. you could consider this, uh, you know, a bit of a vision of the future. Buses, when the new building is complete, will enter and exit at the southern entrance. So the, the buses and the cars, when the building is complete, will be separated as is ideal for this sort of circulation. The school staff manages really well with them all being kind of mixed up together, um, but there will be an added safety factor when the building is done. So. Thank you to everybody who is listening to this, either live or uh, canned later. And um, thank you for helping us take the next step here because it's, it's a big change, but um, for good reason. So. so I think that's it, Angela. All right, thanks everybody. We're gonna stop this recording. And as I mentioned, it will be uploaded to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel and then linked to the project website. Perfect. All right. Thank, thank you, Tammy. Talk to you Monday. Can't wait. Talk to you soon. Bye.